Uh, sorry for taking long. I'm almost 30 minutes late because of network issues, but I've managed to solve them. Um, yeah, so today uh, will be I will be talking about part three of my story, ne? and precisely. It's basically everything from 2017, you know, and I'll try to think about everything in detail, just so majority of you guys could understand where I'm going with this, you know, uh, from 2017. Okay. Yeah. So those who are asking about the song, uh, it doesn't want to pin my comment. So those who are asking about the song that's that was just playing just not long ago, uh, we were just shooting a music video for it this past weekend. So expect it on national television um, in about three weeks from now, I think. Three weeks from now, the music video and everything will be disclosed. But nonetheless, uh, I'm trying to pin my comment here. Part three of my story from 2017. It doesn't wanna. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it has been pinned. So, uh, keep in mind that welcome by the by the way. Keep in mind that um. I've actually started from the beginning, that is from precisely 1995 when I was born and till 2009 I would say, then I took another part where I started from like 2010 until 2013 I think and I I I, I started another part from like 20. 14 till 16 and previously i've picked it from 2016 uh, till 2017 i think but that was just the beginning of 2017 so i'll just do a recap you know and the main reason behind me telling you guys all this is so you could understand who exactly are you guys following you know don't get fooled by the nice profiles you see, the nice cars, houses, and all that. Uh, it's bad out there, you know, it's bad out there. So don't just be fooled by the lifestyle that you see uh, currently, you know, because you guys follow people because of the lifestyle that attracts you. You don't really care about the the real character of that person you care about the lifestyle you know and i'm trying to 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 build a foundation with you guys whereby you get to understand and know who exactly are you following or who exactly are you gossiping about if you are gossiping you know now i will not i will i'll, I'll this is actually uncensored you know 
I will put everything as raw as it is. As raw as it is because I present myself to you guys as raw as I am. No edits. Trust me, I present myself to you guys as raw as I am. Right? Now, keep in mind, uh, the recap of 20. 16 that was when i've actually pushed 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 throughout the trading journey you know with giving up then there but i just kept on going eventually and one of one of the most i would say one of the main reasons why i'm where i am today is because of what we call a uh, love uh, it's because what we call relationship. Uh, if it was not because of a relationship, I don't think I would be the person that I am today, you know. The very same relationship that broke me is the very same relationship that built me, you know. So I will be talking about love more often uh, because I think that that was my my key concept when it comes to success. Keep in mind, I've only made it because I was trying to, to, to prove a point, you know, uh, prove to, I was trying to prove a point to this lady that I am not a failure, you know. So I know there are some of you guys who are getting cheated on right now as we speak. Uh, you are getting cheated on by your girlfriend most commonly because you don't have anything to provide you know women nowadays they want you guys to 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 give them something so if you are unable to do so therefore they consider you broke and most probably they will cheat on you with a forex trader that's just the reality uh, so we just look at these relationships on social media people are in love and Right now we know what's happening behind closed doors. We know the kind of DMs we get behind closed doors. You'd find a person sending you a message. When you go through their profile, they're in a relationship, but you could see for this person, they want money. They, they don't care about anything else, you know? So yeah, I, I pushed because I was trying to prove a point that I'm going to make it, you know? So if they are cheating on you right now and you don't know about it, it's most probably, I'm not saying that people with, people who have money, they, 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 they can't get, uh, they can't get cheated on. I'm not saying that, but it's most common that when you don't have money, your woman is going to cheat on you because let's let's face facts guys the love that you're giving her doesn't pay bills you know i've learned that that's why from that moment i told myself that you know what i am going to run after money i am gonna get money love will follow love is a good thing but it will follow if it follows you know so i've lost the woman that i thought i loved with my entire life uh, due to failing in terms of hustling, everything that I've touched used to fail and all that. So she left me around that time uh, because I was not the guy for her. But keep in mind, I was not the guy for her, but I was giving her the best love ever. But at the end of the day, no matter how good the sex is, no matter how 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 you make her smile laugh no matter how hard you try at the end of the day money plays a huge role in everyone's life money plays a huge role in a relationship now i'm not talking about money and relationships uh, from a far-fetched uh, area in a sense that i'm talking about things which i don't know i'm talking about things which i see on a daily basis money plays a huge role in in a relationship most people will tell you that no it's not about money <laughs> it's a lie i'm telling you money if you are telling me you right now you are a guy you are telling me that ah now my girlfriend's 
my girlfriend i mean loves me for who i am you are right she loves you for who who you are but she has given you a certain target which she might personally not be aware of that if this nigga doesn't make it during this period i'm moving on you know so it's like that it's it's always wise for us guys to run after money women will follow after you know when you have money when you have money it's more like it's more like you go into a garage with nice cars you just pick which one you want i want that one nah this one is too small i want that one you understand it's more like that only you can only do that when you have money when you have access to things right so if you are running after women currently with no money uh trust me <laughs> you're not going anywhere my friend your girlfriend the things she's doing for money behind behind the scenes the things she's doing for money behind the scenes it's not my place to tell but make sure that you get money so relationships love is one of the reasons why i made it i don't wanna lie the poverty state that i was in at that time it used to push me to work hard right but it never pushed me beyond my limits it used to push me yes to work but it never pushed me beyond my limits you know so it's only that relationship which pushed me beyond my limits now the next person who's watching you there's going to be something that you care about that you're going to lose right or most probably you might have lost it let that be your reason why you want to push extra you know push extra regardless just push 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 you know because without getting hurt there's no way a person could just easily change especially when it comes to success and all that we we have to lose it all in order to see that now it's time to wake up you know so that's what happened overall uh, with me in 2016 but i've hustled as i've told you guys that i was looking up to certain traders and all that in the industry i've learned a lot from them i've i've i've, I've tried pushing for myself right and then i managed to do so uh 2016 year and i've had my own money at that time and when i i had my own money that's that's when the university was actually chasing me i think it was like for the third time but the only difference between that time and back then was that i was willing to be chased i didn't care anymore you know now i got chased uh, 2017 uh, that's when my journey actually started my journey into building the character that i am today i would say my journey of challenges having to to have money for the first time and all you wanna all you think of is to go to the gucci store so that you can buy gucci and come back and tell witches that you've made it you know I've, i was at that stage whereby i could just be on top of the roof and scream that witches even though you have bewitched me uh, so that i don't graduate but either way i've made it in life you know so that was that was the moment for me in 2017 now keep in mind i've i've I wouldn't say I'm a good liar. I wouldn't say I'm a good liar, but I'm able to maintain the things that I say, especially from until at least I get what I want. So I was able to maintain the fact that I will be graduating, uh, hiding the truth from from my parents that I'm failing and all that. So 2017, that's when I decided to keep clean. I decided to keep clean. I decided to be honest then i i sat down with my parents and i told them that you know what parents uh, i appreciate everything you've done for me but i no longer want to go to school uh, there's this thing that i'm doing that is called forex trading and you know the truth is that i personally think that it's gonna take another pandemic 
And this time it should be an economic pandemic for people to accept forex trading as it is. I think it has there has to be another economic pandemic uh, that's going to make people understand the importance of foreign exchange market. Because other than that, forex trading is always clouded with bad publicity, with scams and all that. And mostly that comes from us, myself included, uh, in the industry. I'm not going to pretend as if I'm an angel. I'm not. So people judge the industry based on us. You know, what, what is it that we do? How, how do we live our lives and so forth? And therefore... Uh, continuously so we have managed to destroy the industry to an extent that when the community hears the word forex trading the first thing that comes to their mind is a scam that's the first thing that comes to their mind you know and it's not always the case i can give you my word there is actually nothing wrong with trading on its own the only problem with trading is us the people who are representing trading, you know. And I know for sure we are very good at selling people dreams, myself included. We are very, very good. I would say that is one thing traders excel in, you know, selling people dreams. But this is different. There are traders who sell you dreams directly and there are traders who sell you dreams uh, indirectly. I'm going to speak for myself. I won't speak for others, right? When you look at me, when you look at the profile, you look at the cars, you look at everything, and you automatically have sold you a dream. Automatically, the first thing that comes to your mind is that if I join this guy, I'm going to be like this guy. You understand? But I didn't come to you and say, now I will be selling you dreams. No, it's just you. The way you view me and and the way you think about how I do my things. Automatically you think, or if I join this thing now, I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna be like those guys. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like this guy, I mean. And which is one thing that I've noticed, the mistake that I've done in the industry is that I've went too far in terms of showing you guys the good side of things more and forgetting that there's also the bad side that you need to know of or be aware of. Because if you know both the good and the bad, therefore you can be able to make a good decision. Most of you guys don't really qualify to trade Forex, honestly. You don't qualify to trade Forex. When I say qualify, I don't mean that you need a certain qualification to be able to trade. No. What I mean by that is that emotionally, you guys are not strong to handle Forex. Forex is, 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 is I don't know how to describe this, but Forex is like a matter of life and death. That's how crazy. So most of you guys are not ready this is not for you, honestly speaking, because just one loss already you're going crazy. Just one blowing account, you're going crazy. You know, you start swearing and all that. So this thing needs you to be, to have a big heart. You know, it's not for weak people. That's just the truth. And I'm sorry if there are people whom when they went to my profile, they actually think that they can be like me. I'm sorry if I've sent you that, I've sold you that dream. I apologize. I was deliberately not aware, you know. But the truth is that Forex trading is not for everyone. You can get inspired by what we do, how we do our things. But you, it's just a fact, given fact. You can't, you can't be like me. <laughs> you can't be like me. Maybe I need it, I need to get it out there. You can't, there can't be another coach. You know, there can't be, I'm the only one. You can't be like me. That's why people, traders who compete with me, they can, they never go anywhere in life because there's always going to be one me, you know? Now, when I told my parents about the industry, 
uh, forex trading in general they've rejected it right and coming to think of it since my parents rejected this uh i'm asking myself had i listened to my parents where would i be right now could i ask myself that question had i listened to my parents when they told me not not to continue with this thing where would i be right now i'm asking myself that question every day you know and it doesn't make sense because parents are supposed to be there are people who are supposed to 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 be supporting you throughout the journey and all that right uh, imagine blowing an account and you cry to your father and then he, he he comforts you you imagine how nice that would be but now you're blowing in an account and you can't tell anybody about it <laughs> so precisely it's eating you alone it's eating you inside alone you know so most probably i i don't know i don't know but i would i would be working maybe i would be a car guard just maybe i would be a car guard maybe i would be a garden boy maybe i would work at, work at shop right maybe i wouldn't even be working at all you know maybe i would even be in jail who knows you never know what what a person can do uh, uh, when they get pushed by poverty you know so i'm i'm asking myself that question every day the reason why i ask myself that question that had i listened to my parents 2017 when they told me to leave this thing where would i be is because of this today the same parents that told me to leave trading are the same parents who are calling and asking how did i trade today you know life life can be tricky at times now they are asking me son how did you trade today now this simply means that now they support me right which is a good thing they support me they understand me but yet still the the the, 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 the same people who said uh, I must not go that route. Now, it takes me back to reality. People will never understand your plans in life. They can never understand your plans until you make it. Whatever that you're pushing right now, even myself personally, if there are certain type of hustlers that I don't understand, that I would never understand. I can only understand when they make it. It's just life. It's just how we are. So by me telling you this, I'm, 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 I'm showing you that sometimes, you see, when it comes to your own dreams, it's, it doesn't even have to be uh, Forex related. It can be anything. When it, when, when it comes to your dreams, sometimes your own family can block them. Honestly speaking, sometimes, not always, your own family can block them. Sometimes when you go against them, that's when you make it. And sometimes when you make it, they all come back. There's, people go with winners. People go with winners. People don't like losers in general. You know, people always go with winners. You know, and, and I can't blame my parents for not supporting me in this journey because this is a disease which we as black people have the system it's a disease it's given that when a black child reaches this level they must go to school they must look for a job if they can't find a job they must look for a job if they can't find a job after looking for a job they must look for a job if they can't find a job after looking for a job they must go to the Sangoma so that the Sangoma can help them look for the job and the Sangoma will still want money. The, the same money, the reason why you want you are looking for a job is because you need money. And you need to go to a Sangoma which you are going to pay money to. Money which you don't have so that the Sangoma can help you look for a job. And that Sangoma at the same time does not even have a job. The Sangoma himself or herself doesn't have it's 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 tradition it's it's the system it's it's stuck within us you know and i feel like it's up to us our generation and i'm willing to be the first 
And the decisions that I'm taking today, the decisions that I'm making today, they might have consequences. Uh, when I'm speaking of consequences, I'm referring to keep remember how 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 apartheid was in 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 our country, right? How apartheid was in our country, whereby certain poli politicians fought for our freedom. And along the process, they made sacrifices. Along the process, they've lost themselves and all that. So I'm willing to be the sacrifice just so that people can have their eyes opened. You know, re no matter what happens to me, I'm willing to be that first guy, you know, who breaks the code, who breaks the system. You know, if there's any guy who has done it, who has done it before me, then I'm probably the second, but I'm there. I'm going to form part of the statistics which change the whole system, the whole game, you know? It, it, it's tricky, guys. Life, life is tricky, you know? Now, 2017, um, after I've told my parents they've disapproved, I, I've, I've actually, I've never... I don't remember making my mother cry, but that day she cried, right? My mom cried. My father was deeply disappointed. And I don't blame them, right? I don't blame them. Uh, it's because of this. You see, when it comes to something that I believe in, I don't need your opinion. I'm going to repeat with me that's just my nature right it's just who i am if i believe in something if i believe in something i don't need your approval i don't care what you are to me when it comes to what i need to achieve i don't care i repeat i don't care what you are to me you might be by you might be my father you might be my mother you might be my uncle my friend when it comes to my dreams, what I believe in, I don't care what you think. I don't care about your opinion, right? Maybe that's, maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm a winner. I risk too much. And risking too much simply means that there's no guarantee that you can make it. You know, it's either you make it or you don't. Simple, just like that. So I've disrespected my parents from that day when I told them that, you know what? With or without you, I'm taking this journey and I don't care what you think. It's, it's very disrespectful, I know. But I've got to be honest with you guys so that you can understand the character that I am. Some of you guys are going to go through that. Some of you guys are going to go through that. You're going you're gonna to fight with your parents. You're going to fight with your family for, for what you believe in, you know it's just, it's just life but i can assure you once you make it it's gonna be like nothing happened nothing happened it's gonna be like clean everything will be yes in so i've started disrespecting my parents from that moment i'm not proud that i did but i'm proud that i i stood up for myself you know there's a moment whereby your parents are telling you they're not asking you they're telling you that you are not doing this. And I stood up for myself. I said, whether you approve or not, I am going to do this. And I did it. <laughs> and I fought with them and I did it anyway. Now, after making it, now they are supporting me. But why didn't they support me from the word go? It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Why do they have to support me when I make it? Doesn't make just like you guys. You guys only followed me because you had people talk on the street that do oh, there's this guy who's doing these things, you know. You 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 only followed me because I've made it. Had I not made it, you wouldn't be here. That's just the truth. You guys wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be wasting your data watching me. You're watching me because you know you're going to learn something. That's just life. People want winners. People don't want losers. It's just life, you know. And you've got to be a man. That's why I'm telling people that Forex will teach you to be a man. You will start thinking like a man at the age of 17. And to your parents, 
That's very disrespectful. They will even disown you. Now they've disowned me financially. They've disowned me. But here's the thing. You are, dis you are a parent. You are disowning somebody who almost has almost 100,000, I would say. So that time I've already had money. So it, my, my, the way they disowned me was a bit different from any other person because they disowned me when I had money, right? They didn't know that I had money. I think if I've shown them money before, they wouldn't have disowned me. But I, I decided to keep quiet because I didn't know where the journey was going to end. I didn't know where the journey was going to end. You know, I don't want to lie to you guys. There was never a moment whereby I would think that one day I would be the person that I am today. There was never that moment. I don't want to lie to you guys. So I didn't know when the journey was going to end. So I told myself that I'm going to keep it to myself. Now, when we went back to Gauteng, myself and uh, Kuto, that time in FBK, there were only two people. That time, there was no FBK. I'm only making uh, an example with FBK so that you can understand. That time, 2017 January, there was no FBK. It was only me and Kuto, right? So, me and Kuto had the same goals, the same vision and all that. And my other boys whom we departed, I did explain in the previous video. Now, the whole point of 2017 for me was to make money, right? It was to make money. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for love. I have, I have a very, very good heart for relationships. But from 2017, I actually didn't care anymore. I actually didn't care about relationships anymore. Now, uh, 2017, uh, I was a bit active on Facebook, right? Uh, with the new account. Remember, the old one was disabled because of the things that I was doing there. Uh, information is there on the previous video. So I was using this uh, recently created account and so forth. Chilled. Everything was chilled, you know? And when I was, I was busy trading with Kuto, the whole point was to save money. We were trading, saving money, saving money, saving money. Because we were staying at a student accommodation that time. It was only the two of us, I would say. Uh, that's how the legacy started. So we were trading, saving. Every event, uh, when we go with, for example, like 5,000 rents and we make 10,000, we withdraw. 5,000 rands, we make 20,000, we draw. 5,000 rands, we make 30,000, we withdraw. Then when we lose the 5,000, still we've made more than what we lost. You see, now, the reason why I'm telling you guys this method is because most people think that it's fashion or it makes you special to have a, a Forex trading account which has 100,000. I'm telling you, a Forex trading account which has 100,000, while you yourself, you don't even have, 100,000 in your bank account is just stupidity. That's, the, the, that's just the truth. Reason being that the brokers will take you. Will take it, I mean. They will take it. Whether you like it or not, the brokers will take it. So it's best to have 100,000 in your bank account and have 5,000 rents in your trading account. Not vice versa. So these small time traders, they think having a real tag showing their brokers with uh, 100,000, they think they've made it in life. I can make a phone call to that broker personally. If I don't like you and you are showing us an account which has 200,000 rent, but you don't have 200,000 in your bank account and you are beefing with me, I, I can make a phone call to your broker. I will call the owner directly. I will call the owner and I say, there's this boy by the name of this, please, Deal with him. He's making noise on social media. Just so I can show you that I can pull strings behind closed doors. That's how far I am in the industry. It's don't, don't, don't never be proud that you have money in your MT4. That is not your money. That is the broker's money. It's only your money when it's in your bank account. That is what I did in 2016. I never deposited 1,000 rents and have and made 100,000. 
No, never. Brokers would never let you reach that stage. They would never. But if you deposit 1,000 and make 3,000 withdraw, 1,000 make 4,000 withdraw, when, when you look at your results, you, you, are, you are sitting on 100,000 from just a mere deposit of 1,000. That's how I've made it. So most people think that they can deposit 500 and get to 50,000. You think the broker is stupid to just look at you, deposit. You see, that, that's why if you can take a look, when I want to, to, to buy a car or when I want to invest in something, I can easily do that now because I've got access to real cash. Now, this small time boys, they, 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 they can't even afford a simple thing because they are rich on the MT4 because they are trying to prove a point to the society that they, they can make money. It's, it's pointless, dog, to have money on the MT4. That's not your money. Have money in your bank account. Then you and I can talk men to men. You can't be showing me an MT4. That's, I, that's what I'm telling you. You can, I, you, People, understand this. I'm so deep in the industry that I can have anything when it comes to MT4. I can have anything when it comes to MT4. And I can have... Uh, yo, you guys don't understand how deep this is. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm telling you this. When, when you get inspired by a trader, you look at how he trades. You look at how he makes his money. You look at how, the type of profits they make. But there needs to be, in real life, there must be something. There must be something. I mean, like, you, there must be something, man, that you can see or oh, this guy is pushing. Because being rich on the MT4, let me tell you something that you didn't know. Anything which you see on the MetaTrader 4 can be faked. That is just the truth. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by a trader who is rich on the MT4 only. I'm not. Because I know it can even write real account live server. It can even write the broker's name. But fake. I know that. <laughs> I know that. There is no small time trader who can convince me otherwise. It's just the truth. Now... New ones seem to fall for that, you know. They fall for that for those traps. Uh, you could you would find a trader having five million. A trader having five million, no, no car. Let's just use common sense. Can you be black and have five million and still use a taxi? Let's just use common sense, people. Everything on the MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 can be faked. Everything. Do you guys understand? So never fall for such. Let the trader show you what is it that he has bought. If he has bought a house, you must see that house. If he has bought a car, you must see that car. Whether it's rented or not, at least there must be something. Because people don't understand this. Renting requires money. I don't know. I don't know maybe if you guys don't know. Renting requires money. Renting requires you to have what we call a credit score. Now, you can't, you can't, you can't afford to rent if you don't have money. That is just the truth. Whether you buy things cash or you have rented them, at least you, 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 you show that you can afford. Because as much as we might face the reality... There are people who are saying, okay, the M4 is rented, all right? Fine, it's rented. It's good. It's all you. It's your opinion, right? But I would like you to go tomorrow, go to BMW and try to rent an M4. We will see if you will even afford to rent it. You won't. So renting at least it's a sign that you have money you can afford. That is first step. And remember, as people, we have different goals right we have different goals i wouldn't buy something that i, I don't I, 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 that i i know that i will not need forever do you guys understand i only buy things that i know that these are my assets that will last forever 
in terms of alcohol i can go to a club and rent alcohol because i know it's just temporary but i can only rent alcohol because i can afford now you 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 can rent if you can afford so give credit to people who rent as well there is nothing wrong with that they can afford you can afford let them be at least it shows that they are hustling they are able to afford something renting an m4 every day you have to pay something like five thousand rents automatically that simply means you have money if you are paying five thousand rent to rent a car every day you have money if you are paying hundred thousand rents to rent an apartment you have money finish and clap how you spend your money it's none of their business you understand